Holy crap. Gonna shoot it right at the Zeppelin. Just boom. Well, he's not hitting it. Why isn't it sh hitting the? There it goes. Eat that sucker. Baron von Dorf had escaped again, but Emil had still managed to find medicine for Freddy. Yeah, say pretty. They were quickly back on the road again. Their journey would take them to Rance, where they would at last pick up the trail of the elusive Baron and his Zeppelin. Dude, I just healed you. Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay. Oh, go and move. Ah! Oh, I'm dropping everywhere. Oh, go. Oh, he mad. Cathedral's getting fucked. Oh, hey. It's me and the doggo. Oh, can I talk to these people? Looking for an old man with a hat. For their daughter. Guy with a hat. Can you get him out of there? Good doggo. Take him to the cathedral, okay. Oh. Uh, it will legit kill me, okay. Did it count that I saved him though? Rome's Cathedral. The city of Rheims suffered during the war, September 19, 1914. As the Germans retreated from the city, they set fire to the cathedral. Then, as the city was so close to the conflict zone, it was bombarded by zeppelins and cannon fire. During the bombardments, the statue of Joan of Arc in front of the cathedral lost a hand before it was dismantled and stored in the catacombs. By the end of the war, only 1,500 inhabitants were still living in Rheims. The home front, with practically all able-bodied men mobilized at the front, women, children, and the elderly were employed in factories to ensure a weapon, ensure weapons production. Women, women took on traditional male jobs. Even some even held positions of responsibility. Then this new rule changed their status in society. And in the wake of the war, women over 30 years old were given the vote. The Women's Institute held its first meeting in 1915 with the aim of encouraging women to become more involved in food production during the war and the movement flourished. Alright, did I save? I did. Okay, we gotta save some more people. How are you? Goodness. Is that going to go back up? Hmm. Oh, I can go in there. Okay. Oh, I thought it was a blanket. Overalls. Practically, practically all able-bodied men were mobilized at the front, but production still had to carry on. Women took over men's roles in factories and... 
in other traditional male positions, working for much lower salaries. Some even held positions of responsibility and were involved in decision making. This new role changed women's status in Britain's society. Good doggo. It's okay. I'm not leaving you. We're a team, me and you. Good boy. What are you pushing? I'm missing something. Yeah, I don't know where that's at, bro. something out here I'm missing. Oh, I can push this. I need to get a bunch of people to help. I need, I need people to help push this. Yeah. Okay. I'm missing an order of things here. I do not see the thing he's looking for. Not seeing anything. All right, let's get the dog back down. I might need him for something else. Oh, B. Kind of confused as what the B was for. No, 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 go back on there, bro. What are you doing, bud? Get on there. do this normally. There it goes. Okay. Let's see if he can interact with anything out here. Oh, he's digging for something. What did you find? What did you find? Where it normally automatically takes me there. Advertising brochure. While the war raged on, life continued back home, and the brand still advertised their products. Naturally, soldiers were used to promote brand image and boost sales. These were brochure. Uh, <laughs> Apologize, rude. This brochure is advertising war bonds to help the government finance the war effort. Oh, there. We found it. Good boy. Oh man, I have to tell him to go down. Kind of thought I could just be like, yo. It's okay, don't worry. What? 
Oh, that's one of the dudes I need. Got it. That cupboard looks like something I could really use or interact with. Sure is. Safety razor. The safety razor was an early 20th century invention and shaved more safely than the barber's blades. In 1917, safety razors were standard to sheet in U.S. soldiers' kit because it had been noticed that gas masks provided more effective protection to shaved faces. Huh. Makes sense. What? Huh. Oh, snap. I gotta get out of that. Sorry, buddy. Ring around the dog. Oh. Come on, buddy. Go, boy. Yeah, push for the thumbs up. Still missing a couple people. Where are they? I don't even know where I'd find them. There's a girl back there, but... Can I go through this door? I can go through this door. in trouble. Can I get in this? Sure can. A mushroom. Not a mushroom. Early gas mask. While gas masks were, were in more widespread use on the front, they were also available to civilians and in French towns close to the front, like Rhymes, they were f fairly common. This early model was one of the first composed of a cotton compress doused in a neutralizing solution and applied to the mouth and nose similar to the British Black Veil. that nothing else over here right no okay I need, I'm gonna go back outside and re reunite that little girl with her family. Can I keep pushing it? Oh, bolt cutters. Is that gonna burn me down if I just... No. There go. Oh, wait, I need those. Good boy. I think this might cut down the... Uh, that rope. Yeah, chop. Oh, my thing's broke. That's lame.
My goat bolt cutters broke while cutting a rope. No, I'm gonna choke myself out. Oof. Warm weather certificate. To improve morale on the front, an association was created in France in the early 1915 to provide. I can't ever. I don't even know how to say that word. Sucker. And support from behind the lines for soldiers without close families. The war mother sent lotters and parcels, forming close relations with their godchildren away from the front. That's. That's good. Okay. Yay! No problem. Yeah, go help push. Yeah. Everyone push. Hey, friend. Where'd my friend go? Active service paybook. Paybook belonged to, to a British soldier. It also contained practical details such as a last will and testament form, as well as the names and addresses of close relatives to contact in the event of death. The book also served as a regulations guide to good conduct, advising men in the in this new experience you will find temptations both in wine and women. You must entirely resist both. Agreed. Oh. Where does he go? Oh. I sent him up there, but for what reason? Oh, it just got me around. I get it, because then I can just poke my way up. I got it. Where's my friend? Uh oh, he don't like something. Oh, snap. He went a-charging. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it a boss fight? Uh. Oh. That's funny. <laughs> I play the organ and it bloofs him up. Oh. I get it. Oh. Ha ha ha. That's funny. Oh snap. Oh, I get I have different notes. Oh. Do it again. No, it's supposed to blow back into him. What? It didn't blow back into him? So then that one happens. And then... Okay, so he's not close enough, so... Will this blow him? Yeah! Okay, I get it. I get it. Move! Why wasn't I moving? So blam. And we'll do it again because it'll push him over this time. Like this. Yeah. It blows up like. Oh, snap. Oh, it did it again. Alright, we're good. Okay, so I need to go. Ah! Doggo. And me. Oh, nope. Me first. Got him. That was clever. I like that. 